Lawyers call something mere path, mm -hmm. uh, where people can just sit somewhere and they look almost look up at a job. You understand? They, oh, me, don't you know me? I know so, 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 and so, so, and so. But that in itself, there's a very thin line between a mere path mm -hmm. and the commission of an offense. So if you look at the Tagore case, you will see that they were convicted in the high court based on conversation they had among themselves. And also it was uh, due to undercover um, activities that it came out. But the Court of Appeal set it aside, virtually stating that you cannot criminalize free speech. All right? So perhaps um, this standing alone, and originally there were allegations that he has been charged mm -hmm. or an allegation of um, investigation into for, uh, fraudulent misrepresentation and uh, false pretenses mm -hmm. were being investigated. Then a paper came from the police. Uh, they should forgive me if they didn't mandate from them, stating that they were investigating him in relation to some possible offenses, including corruption. Mm -hmm. You understand? So first we need to understand that he has not been charged, and he couldn't have been charged at this stage. Mm -hmm. That's what they call the caution. Yeah. And the caution, they will tell you that um, we are investigating for you this offense. in relation to the, the commission or possible commission of some offenses. So that some of your acts mm. or omissions may relate to certain offenses. So we are investigating this. When they have completed the investigation or at a point where they think they have sufficient facts and sometimes evidence at that stage, then they, you'll be formally charged in a charge sheet mm -hmm. and presented before court. But if, after the caution, they continue with the investigation and they are unable to gather sufficient facts based on which they think they can secure a conviction, then they can even um, actually to go home and, and just end investigations at that stage. But unfortunately, you know, we, we live in a society that people run with what we hear. And that is why one must be careful in putting out uh -huh. information about the possible commission of crime by a person. Because it's been, it's been many instances where the police have even ceased investigation after the announcement. There have been many instances where the person has been taken to court, acquitted and discharged. These ones you may not even hear. And mind you, you know, we have also the thoughts of malicious prosecution, false arrest, and even imprisonment. Yeah. And recently, people have tested it. In fact, at the level of the police, oh. I know that I've been told that where a police officer engages in any such act, uh, unlawful arrest, detention, and so on, keeping people beyond 48 hours in custody, and the person sues, as the Constitution says, can sue that police officer or any other person who committed, well, engaged in such unconstitutional act, or sue the police. And I understand that when they sue the police and the person secures some form of remedy in the form of compensation, the police may pay, but they will deduct it from your, your entitlement and salaries. Mm. So that is where I was worried at the beginning when I heard the word order. Mm -hmm. Because if you obey the order, and it turned out that the, uh, the implementation, execution of the order was unlawful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is you, the person who carried it out. <coughs> and sometimes the one who gave the, the order, order. that a, a thought of maybe unlawful arrest, malicious prosecution, can lie against you. And, and so when it comes from a high authority, it can be problem. So it's important that for me they have explained. Of course, others still also think that, well, the police are under the Ministry of Interior. Ministry of Interior is a wing of the executive. Mm -hmm. And so the president can order, for example, the Ministry of Minister of Interior to cause the arrest, arrest of, of another person. Another person yeah. So, well, it's ranging. But for now, I think that um, we, we have to at least uh, all accept that it is the court that upon uh, determination of such matters that can pronounce with 
definite orders and so on that a person has committed a or b offense mm. and as we do so also we try not to also infringe or violate the rights of these people this is